Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Welcome to Medical Globe e-learning We are doing Unit 7 of Physiology in Respiration Chapter 43 This is about respiratory insufficiency and pathophysiology and diagnosis and oxygen therapy From this whole unit of respiration in paper there is only 1 SEQ and 8 MCQs So first of all this starting passage is not really important You can you can skip all of that cutter text then useful method for studying the respiratory abnormality again this is not very high yield topic you just uh, have to give it a read for your better understanding ne next is the measurement of maximum re expiratory flow this could be an SEQ regarding what are the methods of um, what are the methods for diagnosis of respiratory diseases so expiry maximum expiratory flow what is it this definition is important and i have highlighted this other this text is just for your understanding this diagram is also very uh, helpful in understanding it properly so next topic now very important topic of this chapter is emphysema emphysema is a past uq so you have to do it this is the cause of obstruction in emphysema all, all the three points and the following three points are about the effects of emphysema like it causes bronch bronchiolar obstruction and it decreases the diffusion capacity of the lungs and it also causes extreme abnormality in the ventilation perfusion ratio this is important SEQ and it is a past this is an important SEQ you have to do this next topic is pneumonia pneumonia is also a potential question for SEQ basis so definition of pneumonia is important this diagram is important it, it is showing the pathophysiology of the lung alveoli this is the continuation of pneumonia this topic is important then atelectasis is also a SEQ question so what are the causes of atelectasis atelectasis is a collapse and what are the causes two major causes are highlighted and you have to read this all topic this is this is potential SCQ question of the paper then is the asthma asthma is a past UQ very important question and also it has some important important um, important points for MCQs I have highlighted all the MCQ points then is the TB TB is important for only MCQs and MCQ points are highlighted again next topic is hypoxia and this classification of the causes of hypoxia are very important and this is also a past UQ so don't forget this topic must do it then is MCQ points which are highlighted in yellow now oxygen therapy this is also a potential SCQ topic so you have to memorize them like different different types of hypoxia are treated respectively so this is also a broader topic next is cyanosis cyanosis is a past uq and this definition is quite oftenly asked in vivas so do it well and there are this is very important mcq question this is also asked in viva so do memorize the, these figures then is hypercapnia this is conceptually important topic you have to make the concept of hypercapnia it is also important for mcq points then the last topic of this chapter is artificial respiration you can neglect this topic and you just uh, have to read this if you want the, otherwise this is not a very important topic that's all about respiration unit for more details and practice do consult medical globe crack series for mcqs stay tuned for more videos thank you and allah Hafiz. Medical Globe introduces its series of successful publications, MBBS Cracks, the benchmark of all, containing all the chapter-wise questions of prime importance, all annual and subtly solved university questions, questions to ace your vivas, chapter polls, and of course, we have incorporated all the labels and histologic and anatomic models in high resolution for your distinction level OSPI preparations. Medical Globe has also launched a gem in the medical world to master every concept for your multiple choice questions, the MCQ cracks, encompassing UHS, LAMS, and many others, revealing the UHS MCQ rank, your practice MCQs, and topic-wise MCQs. 
Get your MCQ and MBBS cracks at your doorstep by placing your order at 0335 66